news, um, I guess, distressing and fun news. So obviously I've been talking a lot about these Union Jordan 4s, right? I love them. Jordan 4s are probably one of my favorite models, right? Top five sneakers for me, uh, you know, in no particular order. I'd say Air Force Ones, Air Max 90, Jordan 4. Uh, what's the other one? Air Max 90, uh, Jordan. Yeah, Air Max 90, Jordan 4, Air Max 90, Jordan 4, Air Force One. Uh, Dr. Martin 1460. I don't know what the other one was, but anyway, they're in my top five of shoes. So I'm, I'm a big fan of them. And um, one of my favorite colorways to come out this year was this pack that Union put together, right? They've got a guava pair and this noir pair. Um, I like the fact that they've basically flipped the panels around. They've extended some bits. They've left the webbing on some places. They've turned them inside out. They've changed the tongue. Um, they've got this sort of like, you know, off-white, you know, this sort of distressed colored yellowed midsole that reminds me of Jordans that you pluck out of some vintage mum and pop store somewhere. So some really cool elements added to it, right? In general, just a very cool trainer. And again, it's it's interesting because usually, especially with some of the hype, the hyper shoes that have come out nowadays, the limited edition ones, the more limited edition it is, the more loopy and crazy the design is. And some people just buy it for the sake of it just being, you know, rarely available and not really for the actual aesthetic appeal of it. And I guess this Union Jordan 4 is one of the rare ex examples of that, right? Where it's a rare shoe, but it's also a shoe that can be worn day to day and just looks great. And I think you have to give a shout out to Union in general for being really good at doing that. I think um, the the Union Jordan 1, I've seen worn by so many people on the streets every day, you know, various different people from, you know, various walks of life, which is definitely a good indication on um, the success and actually the beauty of the shoe that you put together. I think it's all easy. You know, anyone can, you know, decide to paint by numbers on a trainer, but to make a shoe that appeals to, you know, geeks like myself and regular everyday people that just happen to pop into Dover Street Market when it was being sold is a real testament to the design ability of you know whoever put it together but obviously you know buying these shoes is always a bit of a bitch right it's always a pain in the ass essentially you're having to enter a lottery for a chance to purchase something with your own hard-earned money it's absolutely ridiculous i hated it i've always hated it from the beginning especially since they kind of took away the, the ability to queue and buy stuff in in store the queuing element of it reminded me of the you know when the first iphone launched and then subsequent iphones came out the the first day that they dropped they always sold out they're hard to get but then you know as time goes and people start to get their own iphone they increase production and more brands start to order more you're eventually going to get one right so there's no need for you to buy one you remember back in the day when there'd be people reselling iphones right what that they purchased what because they waited in line at the store and then they resell it for like you know three times its value it doesn't happen anymore unless you're that person that's really desperate to get it on the day it comes out if you just wait a week you wait a couple of days you'll get it no problem no questions asked but obviously with shoes it's not like that and for some reason no one really has any questions about that no one's annoyed by it no one tries to kind of force or try to uh um put the kind of sneaker manufacturers in the corner and get them to answer the question as to why they can't just manufacture more why can't they just make stuff more readily available why can't they um allow a a, a more fair not a fairer but a way that kind of allows people like myself that aren't necessarily on the app and don't have bots and aren't trolling social media to get a shoe just to kind of be able to buy it and i guess that's the annoying part once you once you kind of especially being a sneakerhead the, the bad thing about being a sneakerhead is that it kind of never leaves you right even if i don't buy as many shoes as i did in the past you can never quite let go of it it's always kind of a thing the little itch that you always have but then this the annoying thing is that the older you get the less patient and the less willing you are to sit on your phone um, have your your Chrome, you know, your laptop open on Chrome, have another tablet open up on Firefox, refreshing and hoping to get a shoe, hoping to get a chance to buy something. It just isn't a lick, especially when you have disposable income, especially if you earn money, right? That You just don't want that hassle. So that's why places like StockX, you know, exist and they probably thrive off that, right? Because there are people out there who just don't want the hassle. They'd rather just pay some kid to go queue up, pay three times the value and just keep it moving, right? It is what it is. If you like the shoe, it doesn't matter if it's probably a 90 pound or 300 pound, right? You just want to get it. But sometimes I get annoyed at that, the ability to not buy it. And then I also get annoyed at the pricing, right? There is no reason why these Union Jordan 4 should be 210, right? The last time I bought a pair of Jordan 4s, I'm pretty sure I spent like 190, 180. Why are these 210? 
what's what's the rationale so they don't increase production or they don't well they did to increase in quantity i think with these a little bit but they don't give you an explanation as to why they're more you just have to kind of suck it up and buy them and then obviously trying to buy them is going to be difficult because they're not going to be available in a lot of places you're going to have to like you know as as enders is playing here you're gonna have to register your interest which i obviously have done for them because you know they're bloody beautiful but it's just so annoying it's honestly one of the most annoying parts of buying sneakers getting them and you know the shipping that is all good you know customer service bloody blah, blah blah most stores know what they're doing but the actually acquiring of them the the wit you know the ability to give your money to somebody for them to give you a shoe back is just so 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 annoying it just takes time you have to you know invest in bots you have to follow some certain accounts some people do that annoying thing where you have to follow somebody at your friend in the comments like the picture share it on your twitter and your facebook um send the link to your mum. like it's just take a selfie with the thing it's just annoying right it's just all annoying and i'm really wondering like when will this ever change when will we get to a point where you can just buy something like a shooter this comes out and don't get me wrong it's not like you can make a million of these because it might lose a pill or whatever it's limited edition but at least have the ability to somebody at least maybe have the ability to buy it for a longer period of time than just a day than just a weekend it makes no sense it just makes no sense and again it's not really a resellers thing resellers i don't care i mean do, do you have to do everyone's got to make their money right um, I, I essentially put myself through university by reselling so i don't have any problem with that but it's just for average regular everyday folks like myself who just want to buy some cool shoes to wear and it just happens to be sometimes you know the core shoes that you want are the ones that are limited edition which is annoying um especially now i think they've realized a lot of the brands are quite have basically clued on that you don't just make collaborations now are better because they don't just go around collaborating with everybody they collaborate with the brands that sort of have they have a bit of brand synergy with they sort of line up with you know in terms of tone and in terms of you know appeal and aesthetic right they sort of line up with the brands really well and then they give them usually um the free reign to do what they want with the item and most brands kind of want to appeal to their audience but also reach out to a new group of buyers so they try and make something that kind of you know appeases both audiences and usually if you're you know i don't think there's been re very rarely have you have i seen a collaboration in the last five or so years that's been complete dog shit usually they have some kind of appeal i can understand why people would like that thing so that of course increases the likelihood of me not getting a pair because everyone else wants them you know so it's just i don't know man it's just it's one of the most frustrating parts of buying shoes like you can just never buy them there's always like again i've got my entry day there's always some lottery system you have to do some raffle nonsense and again i just long for the days of queuing get done going wrong queuing was annoying right i probably couldn't do it now but that waking up in the early in the morning getting your camping chair out sitting down in a queue with your friends making new friends um posting queue pictures and updates on a forum it was all it was all fun and it was all amazing and again sometimes you woke up late you got to shop and it was sold out and you were completely okay with it because you went to a store to go buy something it wasn't available but this idea of sitting at home and waiting for an email to come through to your inbox to tell you you've got a chance to buy a shoe make sure you buy it in an hour window or we give it to somebody else it's just it's just a nonsense but i'm just so over it i really really am um and which is why i've kind of purposely made it my mission to kind of you know always try and look for stuff that isn't necessarily the limited edition stuff that's the benefit of sneakers nowadays because you know the sneaker culture is a billion dollar industry they make a lot of shoes now so generally you can even if you don't find if you're not able to get the limited edition thing you can usually find some pretty good shoes at most you know kind of fashiony retailers they usually have a good selection of trainers that you can buy that aren't necessarily in addition but are pretty decent and maybe a step above stuff that you might find on nike.com or new balance you know website whatever it may be but man i wish the process of buying shoes was a lot easier than it is now but hey i guess that's part of the game isn't it